We're measuring the P2P51 for a G7 calibration report using the Tashcon SpectraDense Premium. We're connected via USB here to a Windows 10 PC. There are 12 rows to measure in the P2P51, which can seem a chore, but it is really quite quick and easy. This is after applying the G7 calibration curves from a linear print, so I'm expecting a good result. We have a pass for the neutral print density, grey balance and targeted colour for the primaries and overprints. The colour space data is not complete as we only measured the P2P51, not a complete TC1617 chart.